In this problem, we're told the blades in a blender rotate at a rate of 6,500 RPM. When the motor is turned off during operation, the blades slow to rest in 4 seconds. What is the angular acceleration as the blades slow down? So in order to solve this problem, you need to know what angular uh, acceleration is. And so we can denote this using alpha. So this right here is going to be alpha. And you need to know what alpha equals. So alpha is equal to the change in omega over the change in time. And so essentially what this w here is, it's called omega, and what it equals is the angular velocity. So what we're trying to do is find the change in the angular velocity. So in order to do that, before we do that, let's write down what we're given first, because it's going to help you solve this. So essentially what we need to do is find the change in uh, the angular velocity, but let's write down what we have. So we know what the um, initial angular velocity is going to be. They tell us it's going to be moving at 6,500. RPM, right? Because they tell us it's going to be rotating at a rate of this, and this is going to be the initial rate. And then we know it's going to slow down to rest in four seconds. So if our initial angular velocity is going to be this, right, then omega is going to be equal to zero, zero RPM. And the reason this is it's going to go to zero. And instead of writing this in RPM, I'm going to rewrite it as radians per second. And you'll see why we do that in a second. But essentially, it's going to start uh, rotating at this rate, 6,500 RPM, and then it's going to go to zero. And then we know the time this is going to be taking, uh, it's going to take four seconds for this to happen. So four seconds. So when we go ahead and solve for this, uh, we know the change in time is going to be four seconds because this is going to be the time period it takes. It's going to go from, or it's going to take four seconds for it to happen, right? And then the change in um, omega, right, is going to be uh, omega final, right, minus omega initial, right? So the initial or the final angular velocity minus the initial angular velocity. And so we know the final is going to be zero. So if we just rewrite it like this, zero minus, and then it's going to be four on the bottom, right? So four seconds. But when we do this, since this is in seconds, what we want to have to do is rewrite this RPM. It has to be in radians per second. So what we're going to have to do is convert this first. So uh, yeah, we have to convert it when we plug this in because it wouldn't be the correct units. So let's go ahead and convert this. So 6,500 RPM, right? So R is just mean rev, so it's revolutions per minute. So we can just write revolutions per minute like this. And we want it to be in radians per second. So let's get rid of the minutes first. So the minute, we know that there's one minute for every 60 seconds. Right, so this will cancel the minutes, and now we have seconds on the bottom. And then what we want to do is convert the revolutions to radians. And so in order to do that, you need to know that one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So if we want to convert it from uh, revolutions to radians, we just got to multiply by two pi. Right, because we're just going to say two pi radians is equal to, or two pi radians over one rev. Right, because this is the amount per revolution. So that would cancel those. So all you got to do is 6,500 uh, 6,500 uh, multiply or divide it by 60 and then multiply it by 2 pi. Right? So if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that it equals 680.6784 uh, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and just round it to 681. Right? So if you want to do a more exact solution, just use uh, this number, but when we use it, I'm just going to plug this number in. So 681, and then it's going to be radians per second. So radians per second. So now we've got it like this. Uh, what we're going to be able to do is just plug it in, right? Because we have final minus the initial uh, angular velocity, so we can just plug it in now. So 0 minus 681. So you're going to get minus 681 over 4. And so uh, we have radians per second up top, and then we divide by seconds. So it's going to be radians per second squared. So what we actually want to do is just, uh, you can plug this in your calculator. So just do 681, divide that by 4. You're going to get 170, or minus 170.25. I'm just going to round to minus 170. So minus 170, and then the units are, because we have radians per second here, dividing by seconds is just radians per second squared. So minus 170 radians per second squared. Uh, this right here is going to be your answer. So yeah, hopefully you found this useful.